All right, back again with the uh, catch can. This is the uh, DNA motor in uh, catch can. And here's the box. The box is coming apart on me. There's the, uh, the box and the uh, part number for it. This is just going to be a quick video on the assembly of it. So you can uh, see how to put this bad boy together if you get one of these, uh, what it entails. Um, other than that, once that's done, um, it'll be a couple of more weeks before I actually get around to actually installing this. So that video will come, I promise you. I didn't forget about posting that. Um, just want to go over some of the uh, stuff that's here in the setup and I'm actually going to set this up. Uh, it comes with a bunch of um, connectors or nipples. There's two these are quarter inch nipples and it has a couple of uh, pipe clamps and they gave you two I'm not sure why they only put two in there, but there's two that comes with it. There's what well, looks like three half inch ones. I think this one's a three eighths. I think this one's a three eighth. This is for the um, the breather on the top. If you were going to put the breather on, I am not putting that on there. And then two half inch. Uh, connector nipples and that depends on your application I'm gonna go with these here the uh, quarter inch ones comes with two extra well not really extra these are for mounting it two nuts with sort of a uh, I guess cut in on the edge so when you snug them down they lock in place uh, they do require an allen key use them. So there's two of those, two bolts, two nuts. These bad boys are going to go back in the bag. This one's going to go back in the bag. And I'm not going to install those. Um, this bracket is removable. I have two Allen keys here so just want to take this off so you guys can see what this looks like. So that's one. That's two, and the bracket comes off. So if you needed to reverse the bracket, you can't. Because the holes don't line up. Not doing that. There's the holes. Now you see them, now you don't. So this bracket only goes on one way. So this is the way that you have to put it on. But that's the bracket off. And the can, you can just twist the bottom, if this is going to be mounted, you just twist the bottom and this comes off. There is a rubber gasket right here. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Let's see. Right here. That's the gasket. So is, there is a gasket on this. And I am going to fill this with a uh, stainless steel Brillo pad to act as a um, extra means of baffling to catch any uh, oil that comes in. Uh, the dipstick is on here also so you can check your uh, oil catching goodness and see how much is in there that comes off and it has little little notches on it. Let's see if you can see that. There's little notches on it, so it sort of gives you like an indication of how much oil is actually in the bottom of the catch can. But installation is just going to be really simple. You just get your uh, nipples. You don't have to put it... I'm wondering if this is going to be a bad thing, and I might actually change that when I do the installation. But right now I'm not going to put any um, nylon tape on here. 
I'm just going to rely on the rubber gaskets that are on here. So you just thread those on until it hits the rubber gasket and do the same on the other side. And what is it? okay. I thought that one looked a little dicey. And three quarter inch wrench and just take them down snug. I don't want to over tighten them. I think I am going to put some nylon tape on there, but I will do that after I did a mounting. And in case you're curious to see what's under here, this is the uh, the blocker for the breather element. So that's looking in from the top. And there is a rubber gasket on that as well. So I just snug this down. And that's pretty much it. Not really a whole lot to mount in this. Just the most difficult thing I think is going to be for me is actually find a spot in the engine bay to actually mount this thing. And once I do that, then I will stuff the um, steel wool pad in there to act as a uh, screen to slow the uh, gases down and have the oil have a chance to condense on it. Alright, well, there you go. That's pretty much what the finished product looks like. Uh, you can just imagine that this bracket here will have it mounted somewhere in the engine bay. The breather from the manifold, or not the manifold, from the valve cover gasket will come in here and go out here and then back into the intake on the car. So that's going to be some fun to try to take that off. And we'll see all that on video when I get to it. All right, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. Uh, subscribe, tell your friends, uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up if you do. Um, other than that, if there's anything that I missed or anything that you want to point out as far as uh, pros and cons uh, with the installation, let me know. And I gotta pick up some more band clamps. They only gave me two. I'm gonna need two more. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.